Hey everyone, welcome back. In today's video, I'm going to talk about mirror foam bumpers and how to replace yours. So grab a pen and paper and let's get started. So I get asked a lot how to change mirror foam bumpers on an SLR. This is a common issue on these vintage SLRs, one many don't even notice until it starts damaging their mirror. So for those of you who don't know what mirror foam is, grab your SLR and remove the lens. And inside you'll find your mirror and above the mirror is the mirror foam. So how the mirror foam works is when you take your shot, the mirror lifts up to reveal the film that's back there and it allows the light coming in through your lens to expose it and then it comes back down. Now if you didn't have that mirror foam bumper the mirror would be hitting the metal and scratching it and breaking it so as time goes on it'll start sticking to the mirror and flaking off and getting all in there and that's not good so you want to replace it before it gets to that point because in my experience cleaning a mirror is difficult to do without scratching it further and it's going to be an even bigger nightmare if you allow it to get so bad that the metal cracks your mirror and then you need the mirror to be replaced altogether. So now let's go over what you'll need. You'll need foam. I buy the kit from US Camera. Foam already comes cut out, already pre-measured. So I like that because I'm terrible at cutting, especially with a sharp X-Acto knife. But if you prefer to do it yourself, you just buy some self-adhesive foam and you cut it out with an X-Acto knife. After you measure the length, width, and depth of the area where the mirror foam will go on your specific camera. Number two is alcohol, rubbing alcohol. I buy uh, this cheap brand, 91% isopropyl alcohol. It evaporates very quickly, unlike water. And I use one of these little dishes, little cups, to pour it in so that I'm not getting it everywhere. Number three, you're going to need Q-tips. I like using these long ones, these bamboo ones, because it makes it easier to get into your camera and it's easier to hold than a small Q-tip. Number four, you'll need tweezers to hold on to the mirror foam bumper and when you're placing it on. You'll need a paper towel or something soft that won't give lint that you can stick inside here to cover over your mirror when you're working in there. So you could use a piece of paper. I use a paper towel just to protect the mirror while we're doing this. I'll show you how to do that later. Last, you'll need one of these, an air pumper, an air blower. If you don't have one, it's not necessary, but you'll see why later, what I use it for. It's really simple stuff, all things that you can find around the house. So now let's get to the point. Replacing your mirror foam bumper. Alright guys, so first what you want to do is you're going to remove the lens from your camera, obviously, to get to the mirror foam. That aside so it doesn't get hurt. And then I like to also remove the meter head just so it doesn't get dirty. So you press the button back here, it releases the meter head, and that comes off. So let's put that aside. So we're left with just the body. Now as you can see, this mirror foam here is pretty non-existent. There's nothing there, there's no bumper for when the mirror hits the top there. Luckily it hasn't started to wreck my mirror yet. You can see there isn't any dirt on there. So first we want to protect that mirror. So I'm going to take a piece of paper towel, fold it up, and I'm just gonna sit it in there. Just sit it in there so it protects the mirror. So when you start cleaning here, that gunk doesn't get on the mirror. Next, what you're going to do is take some alcohol. Not drinking alcohol, though. <laughs> and you're going to take a Q-tip and wet the tip of it. Just going to start taking that gunk out. At first, when you wet it, you want it to stick 
to the Q-tip, you don't want it to start falling in the camera. See how it fell in there? And that would have fallen on the mirror if I didn't have that there. So clean that out real good. Mine already had pretty much no bumper, so there's not much to clean out. Get the edges. Now I'm going to slide that out. See all that that would have fallen on my mirror if I didn't have that there? So you can use one of these. If anything falls on your mirror, lightly blow in there. And it'll blow anything that fell on the mirror off of it. Okay, so that's nice and clean. Now I got a kit off of eBay. So the kit comes with two parts. It comes with this part which is for up here if you need to replace the seal up here which mine's okay so I don't need to replace that so I'll save that for another camera or for later if it needs it. And then it comes with the thin strip that goes in your as your mirror bumper. It also comes with this which makes it easy to push on it which I'll show you in a minute. But again, you don't need that. If you wanted to create your own kit, you would use one of these Q-tips to push on it, tweezers, and you would get self-adhesive foam. Next, you're going to take the self-adhesive foam and you're going to take the back off. Let's put one end in first. And then you start, you take one of these or a Q-tip and start pushing it in there so that it sticks. See, this one's not very thick. I've seen people cut a lot thicker, which might actually be better. Can you see that? So there it is, it's on there. It was that easy. Just make sure it's on there. And one way to test it out now is set your camera to bulb. And see the mirror hits it. And that also helps you push it into place too. So do that a couple times. Push it in there. And there you go. So thank you for checking out this video. I hope this helped. I hope this helps you to uh, be able to replace your own mirror foam. If you need any uh, answers to any questions you have, please leave them down in the comments. I'll be happy to try to answer anything. Also, I'm going to be posting up a couple videos for my Nikon series coming up, my Nikon F series for the other cameras I have. So keep an eye out for those. And as always, give a thumbs up if you like this video, and if you haven't subscribed yet, please hit subscribe and hit the bell to be notified when I post those videos. And until the next video, stay motivated and keep shooting.